now look, I bought you. I set you up in your own office. I take great care of you. Just give me one little hint. Where do I start? What button do I press? Are you all right? Who are you talking to? Uh, uh, I'm on the, uh, the phone, actually. Look, you see, you could get me into trouble now. All I ask is for one little clue. Don't worry. This will all seem like second nature to you soon. But first, let me tell you a little bit about how computers work. The system unit is the heart of your computer and contains two disk drives. This is the A drive and this is the B drive. They allow you to put in floppy disks and save information that will be lost when the computer is switched off. There are different disk drives depending on which computer you have. If you have the PC 20 or 30, then there is only one drive here. That's because there is also a hard disk inside the unit that already has information on it. What's a hard disk then? One that supports mobile? <laughs> Look, don't be frivolous, this is serious. Disks are like an office full of filing cabinets, except that they don't overflow as easily as yours seems to. Each filing cabinet is a directory. Each directory, like a cabinet, contains drawers. The drawers are called subdirectories. In the drawers are files. Called files? Quite. And probably the most important information is contained on your disk called MS-DOS. Well, now you've lost me. That's, that's technical gobbledygook. MS what? Fair enough. Now, your computer needs a way of knowing what to do. MS-DOS turns what you want to do into computer talk. It manages and supervises what your computer does and gives you a way of controlling everything. It is called MS-DOS because it was created by a company called Microsoft, that's MS, and is a disk operating system, that's DOS, so MS-DOS. OK, I'm with you so far, but how do I get it to work? Right, well, this is where I split into two. If you have a PC 20 or 30, you can fast forward down the tape a bit, or just cover your ears for a moment. To start the computer, let's get MS-DOS on the screen. It's called booting up. To do that, first of all, find the system disk one that came in the pack. Then, holding it like this, place it like this in the disk drive at the front of the system unit. Put it in drive A, that's the top one. And now press any key. And look, the red light comes on at the front. And you get this little sign on the screen, which is called the DOS prompt. It's called a prompt because it is your move next. It is prompting you to do something. Something, of course, which I don't need. <laughs> right, now, we want to get something, so type DIR, then hit the return key. You're typing DIR because that stands for directory, so that the computer shows you what is on its disk, what is in the filing cabinet. And you see this. All right. Now, to find out how DOS works, there is a special DOS tutor. So again, we have to put that disk in the system unit. First, turn the lever to get the DOS disk out, like this. Put the disk back into its jacket. Now, that information is still on the screen. Now, place the DOS tutor in disk drive A, just like before. To show that we have achieved something, type DIR and return. And voila, a different set of files. Let's see the two directories side by side. You can now find out how MS-DOS works with the tutor. Your DOS tutor guide will tell you how to start it. And your computer has done something for you. Now, for all you folks with PC-20s and PC-30s, welcome back. This is what you do. First off, when you switch on, this is what you see. This is the prompt that shows MS-DOS is in there. It's called a prompt because it tells you that you are to make the next move. The computer is prompting you. Something, of course, I've had very little need of. <laughs> yes, well. <clears throat> now to see what it is made up of, let's type DIR and return, and you should see this. These are the files that make up MS-DOS. Now, to find out how to operate MS-DOS, you want to use the special MS-DOS tutor that came with the pack. 
but that needs to be loaded into the computer. So first of all, find the disk, and handling it like this, push it into the disk drive at the front, like this. And look, nothing. We have to tell the computer that it is in drive A. So let's type A, colon, and return. And presto, something is happening. We've changed from being on the hard drive in the machine to the floppy disk drive. And now to look at the tutor's files to prove it's in there, type DIR, return, and there, voila, we've cracked it. Look at the difference. The computer is ready to teach you something. That really didn't seem too bad, you know. I reckon that little fellow in there has got a certain charismatic quality. I admire that in a man. I can't wait to get stuck into this software. Wait till Joanne sees it. <laughs> the world is my oyster. I can create my own train timetables. I can even send letters to all the other members of the Chalfont St Giles Train Spotters Club. <laughs> the possibilities are endless.